What's going on, guys? My name is Infinus from the Tech at Realm channel, and today I'm going to be showing you an MC Edit tutorial. So, I wanted to do this tutorial because I've done lots of MC Edit tutorials in the past, and MC Edit has really changed, like, a lot. I'm not even, like, joking, dude. This is, like, basically completely different. Uh, it was last updated about almost a, almost a month ago and, and stuff like that. So, let's get on started. I want to show you the basics, I mean not really the basics, but everything in, the, in this one video by, and I'm going to try to make it as short as possible so I don't waste your freaking time. And I'm going to show you how this new MC Edit works right now. This is what it looks like, and if, if you've played it before, which I've <laughs> played it, if you've had it before, you, which you probably haven't if you're watching this tutorial, then you know it's a lot different than it was like a couple months ago. So I'm going to show you right now how to use this whole thing. So when you get started, this is what it looks like, alright, this is what everything looks like, and then you'll have the most newest loaded world, um, that you've had in Minecraft loaded on this little chunk map, as you can see right here, and then you can choose the resource packs that you have, uh, for example, I'm going to do Greenfield Texture Pack, because that, that's a texture pack that comes with, um, Greenfield, the Greenfield map, which, um, is a really big Minecraft map, but it's, um, I'm gonna be using it because I used it for one of my Minecraft creations, and I'm going to show you the basics so that's how you select your uh, texture pack change the version of minecraft i recommend i mean the highest version you can go i mean is uh... well it depends on what versions you have installed i'm gonna go with the highest version that i have right now which is optifine um, but it goes up to 1.8.8 .8, so i'm just gonna do 1.8.8 .8. here's all your worlds onto the right you just want to choose whatever world you want i'm going to choose let me see i'm just going to do this one right here for the sake of the video so when you're when you're satisfied with the world you want, you click edit, and this will bring you back into an MC Edit that looks a little bit more familiar. Here we are in MC Edit, and if you're new to this, you're gonna be like, "What the frick is going on?" All right, this is what MC Edit looks like. All right, this is how MC Edit is. Um, sorry for that one second. I was like off the cut of the screen or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, uh, to move around, you do WASD, or you could do. Actually, no, that's the only way to move around, just WASD, same as Minecraft. And you don't have to press space, I mean, you can, um, but, you know, it's basically the same Minecraft control, so you don't, I don't have to get into that. The cool thing is, with this new MC Edit, you, it shows the texture pack that you want, so it's not just a default texture pack, makes everything look terrible. So here we are, this is a world, you probably won't have this, you probably won't have a world looking like this, but here we are, in this, let's just pretend this is a normal Minecraft world, with nothing better, nothing else with it. Um, so here's a water park. I didn't make this just as a disclaimer. So I'm just using it for the video. And here's what MCA looks like. All these grid and line crap, lines crap, is um actually the chunks, and you could that's the chunk views. The chunk you can see all the chunks and crap like that. What a Minecraft chunk is? It's an area of land that renders individually, and uh, that's how Minecraft renders. So, um, rendering. If you, well, I'm, I'm teaching. Okay, rendering is um rendering is when Minecraft render stuff I mean, it, it loads the area of the land and the faster it renders the laggier it is but then it's easier to see it. it's better looking anyway you have this right here you have select options you could change um let me see so here we have here we have a square you could select square areas like this and you have upside down squares which is actually just a diamond um, and then they go by chunks as you can see that is one chunk um, let's, let's just deselect that there we go so now we have that, um, but that's just for a demonstration on how you can select things. And then you have all these options right here, like this, um, and it's basically a selection tool that you had in the older MC Edit, um, but basically you could use that to, oops, just clicked out of it, and you could use it to remove a certain portion of the land that's not selected, except when you have it in your chunk selection, but then you could select a counter selection that makes it not delete with the other selection <laughs> uh, if that makes sense all right and um, you can do that with a circle your square you can change the volume of it like as you can see right here you could change it to size right here um, but you get the point of that anyway now we have brush this is the this is one of the biggest things if you want to make maps and stuff it's a good way to make stuff <laughs> uh, in MC edit we have our little um, selection we can um, actually change the block that you want to make and stuff. Uh, as you can see, it also uh, falls under the same texture pack, except for water and lava and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, this is not Minecraft texture pack. This is a another one. Let's go with a uh, diorite. Let's select that, and uh, then we have.
have this. Um, so we have this giant lovely box, and over here we can uh, just follow my. Um, if you could see my mouse, you can't see my mouse, can you? It's fine. Just follow what I'm doing here. Um, you could ch you could change the width of something like this. There you go. I have this set to 34. That's 34 blocks, and you could just set the height, and that'll make it. Um, hold on, let's get out of here. That'll make it 34 in height, and we're gonna change the length. I mean, that's 36 in height. Let's make that. Let's just make it a perfect square so we can test this out in real Minecraft. Because I want to prove to you. You know, actually, let's make this a little bit funner. Let's let's turn this into. Let's see. Because why the freak not? You know, and we're gonna place it right there. So here we have our awesome. Oh, it's gonna lag a little bit, isn't it? Okay, there it is. As you can see, it's a it's applying the brush uh, element. Um, depending on how big it is, it's gonna take longer. Hopefully, you can understand. Uh, I'm sure anyone can understand how big it is. Uh, it'll take quite a while. Um, this computer shouldn't have a problem. To place it basically with with a brush tool, it's it's already done. You can't nudge it or anything. You basically screwed yourself and you start over if you messed up. So that's that. You could do that with anything. You could make, you could like I said, you could change it to a circle, giant TNT dome. Um, you could just do the math and figure out how many blocks this is. Let me see, nine thousand blocks or something. That's like nine thousand blocks of TNT. Or you could do a you know Illuminati confirmed pyramid. Whatever. Uh, that was totally last last month, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm, I'm losing it, guys. I, I'm losing my hipsterness. Um, or you could just do that. <laughs> per, 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 a parabolic dome. Whatever the freak that is. Um, so yeah, moving on. We have flood fill. Um, what this does is um, you could select. What what am I doing? What did? I, oh no! <laughs> screwed it up <laughs> what the heck did I do I mean I know what I did but like why I'm so smart a giant stone mass oh okay so they, apparently whoever made this world made a giant glass over it I guess to prevent rain or something it's a good idea actually um, you know or you could just set toggle downfall but you know sometimes people are a little bit too lazy what the heck dude what is it oh my gosh dude what the frick is that <laughs> anyway I'm getting off topic then you have generate, which uh, you can generate um, any kind of pattern you want. Um, like for example, I'm going to wait, 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 what? What? Generate? As, wait, why is the generate thing not working? Usually what you do with generate is you can make live, I mean you can make um, uh, patterns that you can put in... Uh, you can download patterns from different websites and put it into the plugins folder of MC Edit, and you can get different uh, generate tool options and yeah, fun stuff like that. Edit chunk, we have. That's not really that fun. All you really do is just like you know, edit how a chunk is. You could make it less laggy. You could really do. It's mostly just like an out of game debug options and stuff like that. Cause that looks really, that looks really, that looks really buggy. I mean, I don't, that doesn't look right. So if you wanna, if you wanna fix that or. <laughs> It's not even fixed. If it's already like broken for some reason, you could fix it with a, a chunk editing tool. Um, just make it something. It's literally just like an out, out of game debugging tool. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm not gonna go over that that much. What and, and what MC Edit means by entity is like an animal or an interactable object, um, such as a chest or um, or like this. Something you can move with with your ability. Like, for example, this block, this stone block would not be, you know, an entity because you're not able to interact with it other than placing it and destroying it. Uh, on the contrary, you can interact with these little things right here, these trap trap doors. Just so you can interact with these redstone lamps. So you, you get the point. Same with animals. Anything you can interact with Minecraft. Like, basically, this should be all entities, but I don't know why it's not showing up. Maybe it's too much, I don't know. Anything you can interact with, for some reason that's blue. <laughs> I don't know. Anything you can interact with is an entity, so that's all you have to really know. You, it's you know all this other stuff is really just for coding and, and, and other stuff like that. You could really um, look up on your own time, um, but really what this does is um, you can add like certain things for that block, like uh, entities and, and um, animals. Entities and animals, same thing. But that's really all you <laughs> all you're able to do with uh, with that option. Here we go. Um, you can uh, basically edit. Um, edit the player's like status out of game. Um, it's really cool, actually. I'm not gonna get into that because it take forever. But you know, 
yeah, you have all these options. Um, you can edit what's in your inventory. You know, um, you could uh, add properties to your. You know, you could do potions out of game and stuff like that. Um, change the abilities, change the game type. You know, change the coordinates. Basically, you could do whatever you want with the player in this. Move player to camera. You could do that, or you could do uh, camera to player's view. And there you go. It'll take you to where the player's at. <laughs> One one um, major warning is, uh, as you can see, I lost all my progress. I wasn't really making any progress. I was just doing the tutorial, obviously. One major thing you don't want to do is you don't want to see where I'm, I'm hovering right here, where it says t uh, underneath the t uh, but da -da 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 -da. underneath the Bermuda Bay thing, it says 2D. Um, don't click that. I mean, for me, for, I don't know, it might work for you, but it, for me, it just crashes. So yeah, I basically went over everything. Um, except for world info because uh, basically uh, what you can do in world info is you can um, change settings that you normally would not be able to change in in Minecraft like for example if you made a world that doesn't allow commands you could change it in in here even if you set it to do not allow when you're initially creating the world um, you can change the difficulty to peaceful you can unlock it or lock it change it to hardcore and stuff change the, um, the uh, more generic settings like time and stuff and creative survival or to creative or spectator you know and you could change you know the time of day like I said you could do a whole different option menu uh, world you could take you could change the t the whole type of world you could change the seed uh, although that will get rid of all your creations and I wouldn't recommend that but um, then you have more advanced settings I'm not gonna get into that and you have your uh, your little um, work paint plane right here basically you could change your renders render distance your perspective and stuff like that. I'm sorry if I was a little bit vague in this tutorial because, you know, not even anyone really knows that much about the newest MC edit. It's a little bit more complex. Like, as you can see here, you have the um, history, error log, library. That's really only for, like, coding people who are, like, able to do stuff like that. Professional and complex. Really hard to get to understand, but initially, it's, it's okay. Um, then you can, you know, you have all these options right here. Pretty self-explanatory really the only thing I have to um, I have to go over other than this is uh, import or export and you can import or export a schematic or a selected area of land. A schematic is just a, a selection of your Minecraft world that you can import uh, without building it through files that are um, shem files and you can import them to your Minecraft world. You can get them off Planet Minecraft or any website really and just put them into that uh, schematics folder and plop them into your Minecraft world or you could just select a certain area of land um, and then you can export it and you can make a schematic of your own. That's basically everything in MC Edit, guys. Thank you all for watching. My name is Infernus. Uh, one of the cooler things they have is they actually have a compass now, which is uh, pretty cool as well. Um, the reason why I'm, not, I'm probably not going through, uh, going over everything is because I've tried recording this like five times and then I, re I realized, like, oh, I'm not recording. Yeah, and literally a couple minutes ago I was recording this and then I realized, wait, I'm not recording. Like, and I, and I thought I was recording for like 10 minutes or something. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope this I hope you enjoy this tutorial um, even though I didn't really go over everything basically the everything that's you know generic and general you know a basic tutorial my name's Infernus and I'll see you all in the next video tomorrow bye bye
36,000 Minecraft blocks of tea and freaking tea is not as exciting as I would presume it to be. Um, I thought it would be like, you know, a massive like 7 billion mile block long crater, but no, it's just, it's just this giant dirt. In fact, that's weird, dude. I thought this was built on flatland, and apparently it's, it goes quite a bit down. It goes quite a bit down, guys. Quite a bit down. Anyway, not that, not that big of a crater. Thank God, I'm still rich. Obviously, some of the diamonds survive, and, um, and, yeah, some of the water survived, and that's actually, water protects all this stuff. Um, so as far as the outcome goes, well, at least there's a nice, pretty pattern of glass floating in the sky, mystically. I mean, I, other than that, there's not much of a, I mean, not much really happened, just, yeah, <laughs> other than the complete annihilation of this park. Um, but anyway, thank you all for watching. My name's Infernus. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.